Hello and welcome back to another game, another video. But today, finally, Correct Street is releasing on Android. And right now, I'm playing on Android. Can't believe it. But I'm setting this on the lowest graphic because f for some reason that this game is really buggy. And yeah, it's just released, okay? So it's understandable why it's not not stable and of course the height graphic gonna make me like 15 fps even with this lowest graphic is i got like around 30 fps something yeah n so i already played this game a bit you can see on the top level for some reason the level is not working i don't know why but yeah without further ado let's get into it and yeah i like that transition first thing first you might notice the camera the camera used gyro even though I don't use the gyro control for some reason but yeah the science is nice and I picked uh, the Honda Civic EK9 for my first car I believe there is three options I forgot why there are, are the two car uh, the city looking nice you know. believe it or not this map is way better than Forza Horizon 5 you know for the Horizon 5 map, it's just boring, you know? It's really boring. Aside from the long highway and the mountain, there's no modern city. And, oh, yep, the map isn't rendered properly. Yeah, that's happened a lot. Because, I don't know, man. Uh, the weird thing is, they didn't announce that they already released globally for Carrot Street. But, uh, I just want to look up on Google Play and it's available. Like, if you don't know, I live in Malaysia. Supposedly, this game is only available on Russia for Android. But yeah, so that's why it's a bit weird. There's no announcement whatsoever. But yeah, I just download it and I can play. So yeah, that's very, very cool. Okay, so right here, here is the map. The map is pretty big. We have the city. The city is the most big thing. And then we have port over down here. We have like a bridge. And then we have the outer side which is... I'm gonna go to... I'm not sure which race we're gonna do first. Probably we're gonna do this. Yeah, this... Okay, yeah. We're gonna go to out of town as well. So we're gonna fast travel there. Because I'm too lazy to drive there. Okay, there we go. So the race intro is pretty nice. Okay. And boost. So the race mechanism is isn't that bad. You also have NPC, just like in Forza Horizon Street Race, and also the crew. Oh no. My bad. So here's about the graphic. Uh in my opinion. The graphic on the game for mobile game is actually pretty nice. Even on the lowest graphic, it's actually really nice. But if you want to compete this on PC, uh, there's my no chance, you know, like a little little chance. The graphic is how do I say? It's kind of plain for a PC game. So I hope they fix that. So yeah, I'm gonna show you later uh, how the height graphic. I already seen it. Because you know, um, now if they're gonna release right now, they have to compete with Forza, of course. That's the, their big competitor, and then they're gonna have the new Need for Speed Unbound, which is I'm gonna be honest, the graphics really really good. And then we have another two games that gonna release, uh, the Drive Al Al Unlimited uh, Solo Crown, and also the new The Crew Motor Fest, which is if you saw the trailer, The Crew Motor Fest is really really good. So I believe we are on our uh, we're almost to the finish line. I'm gonna boost. There we go. We got only 550, I mean that's fine. And you can see the level is not work for some reason. Oh we do have camera, okay. I just noticed that. We can we do have first person, but the steering wheel kinda odd, gonna be honest with you. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay, so right now I'm gonna turn all 
of the graphic to highest I hope it's gonna not gonna explode my phone right now <laughs> but I'm gonna show you the graphic on the screenshot okay so yeah it's look really decent but uh, I'm not sure if the PC version gonna have a mod because you know on the gra on the PC people just mod their acero cross I mean correct drifting ah uh, but yeah I hope yeah th but seeing the detail on the car it's actually not really bad it's really nice although there is like no it's like Roblox type of car you know there is no brand like it's yeah it's just a copy but yeah. Actually, it's pretty nice. And then you can. Oh yeah. It... Meanwhile, we're on the screenshot. Yeah, you can change the logo. I hope you can turn it off though. But yeah, I'm gonna prop with the correct street. <laughs> and then you can adjust the zoom. We're gonna adjust the tilt. And yeah, this thing. Yeah, I hope we can do like in Forza at least we can uh, adjust the saturation, the highlight, and everything else. So far, the thing. So far the screenshot the best the best screenshot system is the crew you know you can change the filter you can change the weather you can change the time yeah that's why it's the best so far i ever tried okay so right now i haven't tuned my vehicle yet as you can see my vehicle is stock so we're going to go here to i believe which is the garage okay there we go there is the garage Okay, so this is the tuning. Rating is a part of body kit. Class is weight to power ratio. And yeah, we have the engine blah blah blah. I'm not gonna read all of it. So first thing first, we have the engine, transmission body. Uh, I believe there is body kit. I'm... Okay, we're gonna swap engine first. Um, I don't understand anything of this. Oh gosh. Oh yeah. Um, the ultimate and elite cost like the gold coin and the the one cost normal oh gosh everything is so pricey i'm not gonna do this at least okay maybe the engine though yeah it's so so expensive no 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 then we have the body oh we can install this um yeah probably is okay at least i'm gonna change the wheel please oh you just adjust not the rim you just adjust the size okay um this is probably we're gonna grind this for next episode so we have gonna tune an entire video about tuning and so yeah um we are really broke guys <laughs> So yeah, there is one review that I saw on the internet that this game is really hard to grind plus there is a lot of hacker which is not really good. So we're gonna go to oh yeah this so I believe that is the customization so we can rise the hell out of our car. Okay now talking about the GUI the GUI is pretty for a mobile game, it's kind of yeah. I know I haven't played mobile ga game for a really really long time, but yeah, the, the idea of meter and the map on the top, I, I don't know. It's just kind of messy. Probably you guys probably uh, used to it, but for me, I have I haven't played mobile game for a really long time. So yeah, the GI is a bit messy though. Yeah, uh, and yeah, my phone is not really gaming phone because after I bought the, my gaming PC, I I didn't really thought to buy a really high performance phone yeah yeah who know i'm gonna return to go mobile gaming again so here we go the styling shop okay we have the styling which is i hope it's not really expensive we have the body kit okay body kit there's a lot of options that's really surprised me and we have the premium Okay, understandable. Uh, how about we mix and match this? Oh wait. Oh my god. So. Uh, 
I don't think I have enough money um, I gotta really be wise on spending in this thing Look, the, there's a lot of variation That's, that, that thing is really surprised me Okay, we do have decent What do you mean extension required? Oh, you get you have to buy everything? Hold on Okay White body? Yeah, hell yeah Okay Probably not right now we don't have roof, okay. Front light. Yo, well, yo! We can change this as well. Holy. Oh no. And this thing is so pricey as well. Oh gosh. The race, I think they should increase the, the racing award. Like, how, how come you gotta grind with $300 every time you won a race? But still, there's a lot of, of option, which is really really nice. And then here, okay, probably at least I'm gonna install some wing. Okay, the exhaust. Okay, I don't think exhaust is really matter. Um, the wheel. Hell, oh so oh gosh, it's so pricey. 26,000 for rim No way dude So yeah I'm just gonna install a spoiler And about paint job Oh we can paint specific Like let's say we're gonna paint the entire car Yeah I'm gonna take black though Or probably white Yes white A bit cleaner And then we have special unique Which is we haven't that we have metallic, mate. Oh, okay. I want to mate. Bye. There we go. <laughs> it cost me a lot of money, alright? Can we. Do we have carbon fiber? No, we don't? Oh gosh. Why? Yeah, let's pretend it's hood carbon. And the paint job is so expensive. Oh my god, what happened to this country? Is, is, is there inflation going on? <laughs> this video should be longer because I want to try racing with the tune car, but since everything is so expensive, never mind it. There is one thing that I'm gonna show you, which is I don't think I haven't seen in other racing game, which you have to refuel your car. Yeah, I know, it's a bit. I know. Yeah, it, it is realistic, but it's getting annoying, you know. You don't have to apply everything on real world to the game, you know. You don't want to have tests in your game, you know. <laughs> but yeah, again, I don't know why why they add that, but to fill a a forty liter car to the full tank, it cost me five hundred dollar last time. Oh my god, it's so so messed up. But anyway, guys. Uh, I need to a proper- Oh! This map is actually pretty nice I really love this part of the map So yeah, I have to explore a lot of this Okay, so anyway guys That's all for today's video If you want more Carlet Street content Let me know in the comment section below And leave, please leave a like and subscribe And I'll see you guys in the next video Oh no, oh no, that's bad <laughs> I'm sorry